Hey, what's up, everybody? Hope you're doing well. So wanted to just share this quick story um, that's happening on one of my deals right now because I think it's a good lesson uh, for myself, and so I want to share it with you. So I got a deal. It's under contract. It's a condo, and as a part of this, the seller agreed to replace the water heater. So we were hem-hawing around about who we were going to get to replace it. Of course, we're looking for the cheapest one as possible, right? So basically, we settled on, hey, we'll go to Lowe's, be easy to deal with, um, it's probably pretty reasonable, um, and it turned out, you know, basically it is. So, set it up. I called them. I said, this is what we need. Um, they asked some questions. Said, okay, you're going to have to be transferred to the store manager. And so I get transferred to the local store here. Then they, um, so what turns out is the installer, the plumber, has to come out and um, take a look and give an estimate on what the actual installation cost is going to be. Okay, great. We need that number anyway. So I'm told somebody's going to call me within two business days. So two business days come and go. I hear nothing. Next day, nothing. Call and lows, nothing. Next day, I hear nothing. Call lows, nothing happens. Fast forward to today. I finally, yesterday, I called the guy. Um, I basically stalked him on the phone. Got him on the phone. Said, hey, man, they haven't called me. I haven't yet to get an appointment for somebody to come out to tell me how much it's going to cost in order to get this thing installed. They're making it very hard for me to give you money. So basically, here it is. It's like a week and a half later. I still don't have a date to meet the installer. And so, you know, I don't know where in the process this has gone wrong or it's gone bad or what, you know, if it's on Lowe's end or it's on the installer's end. But, I mean, it doesn't matter. The real question is, for us to take away from this, is the people that we partner with to do business, that we ask them to, that we recommend to our clients or to our friends and family, do we know how they do business? Do we have systems in place to make sure that the handoff is flawless and that the customer experience that they get is just as good with them as it is for us? And so that made me think, you know, I need to make sure that I have those systems in place and that I'm having conversations with the people that I'm recommending out because, you know, it's very important for me that anybody that I do business with, they have a great experience, they're taken care of, and they have a smooth transaction. And I want that for them when they do business with anybody else that I refer them to. So whether it's my lender, my closing attorney, I know they're going to take care of them. I know beyond a shadow of a doubt, they will be taken care of. That's why I refer them to those people. But there's some other people, you know, home inspector, a plumber, handyman, you know, do I have that same confidence? And the answer is no. And I need to get that confidence. So I need to be working on relationships with these vendors to make sure I know what service they're going to provide and that it matches the standard that I have for my the client experience that I provide for my clients. So I just wanted to share that quick story with you. Make sure that you know that the people that you're referring people to um, and that you're partnering with um, in your transactions, that they have the same standard of you know client customer experience that you do. So that at the end of the day, this these little mishaps don't happen and then you know it doesn't look bad upon you. So appreciate you watching. Um, if you aren't a subscriber, just go ahead, hit the subscribe button. It's real easy. And thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video.